how about some containers? Who likes containers? If you do like them, you'll like the next five minutes. If not, feel free to leave. So I created, so I created Slim Toolkit, originally DACA Slim, to have minimal container images. The easy way and the automated way. Now you can also use the tool to debug the minimal container images and to analyze them. And that's what I'm gonna talk about. Why would you wanna have minimal container images? Well, the goal is to have production-ready container images. And minimal container images get you there when you have uh, with only the stuff that you need to have in the containers, which is exactly what um, the best practices recommend for containers. Unfortunately, they don't tell you how to get there. Um, there's obviously more to production-ready containers, but this is the most important part uh, because it's the most complicated part. How do we get minimal container images? You have a few options. You can create them from scratch. Uh, the scratch image is uh, the best image possible. It's zero bytes. It's the ultimate minimal container image. Now, it's a little easier with compiled languages where you can create a single binary and you can copy it. But even there, for example, with Go, you might end up with extra dependencies. Now, another option is to use this project. It creates minimal container images by analyzing the container that you have and the application inside. And this is what this diagram shows. Uh, it shows what happens when you uh, minify your container image uh, with the tool. So what it does, it does static analysis, and then it does a little bit of dynamic analysis. And for that, it creates a temporary container where it puts a sensor with a whole bunch of monitors that collect telemetry. And then it runs that container, and then it also interacts with that container using a whole bunch of different probes. And once it's done collecting the telemetry, it ships all of this telemetry and the artifacts from the container to the main app where the app creates a brand new container. And it also generates um, security profiles that are also useful. So this is what it looks like. I have a few snippets uh, showing what it looks like when you run the tool. You can use the regular CLI mode or uh, you can also use this interactive pro prompt mode. And here I'm using the slim command and then I'm um, using a flag out of completion to pick the image I want to minify, and here it's Nginx. And then in the last snippet, it shows that it minified the image by 11 times. Pretty cool, right? Great. Now you have a minimal container image, but how do we debug it? Um, most of the time, those minimal container images, whether or not you created it by hand, for example, by the scratch image, with a single executable, they probably don't have shell. So you can't docker exec or cube control exec or nerd control exec into them. And those images also don't have your debugging tools. So we have the debug command to help you there. It uses a sidecar based debugging technique to attach to the target container, but the uh, debugging container you pick. And here again, a few snippets that show um, how you pick the target. And it also shows this nice out of completion with the running containers. I have my Nginx Slim container running and also a Dagger container running. Uh, if you don't know, don't know what Dagger is, you should. Um, so, and when you connect to the terminal, what you see is the file system of the target container. Now that's awesome. If you ever done that the hard way, the manual way, you know that's not what you're gonna get by default. By default, you're gonna get what you see in the last snippet where you see the file system of the debugging container. Uh, with the Slim Toolkit, you get this nice uh, developer experience where you see the target container, its file system and what's inside. So that's why I see Docker entry shell. And when I look for Nginx, 
um, I find it. Uh, the other nice thing with the debug command is that you get a list of predefined debugging images. For example, if you want to do network-related troubleshooting and debugging, there's the Netshoot um, image. Uh, for basic debugging, you can always go with BusyBox. And uh, there's a couple of chain guard images, uh, a basic Wolfie image and an image they created specifically for the tool. And uh, it was nice of them. And that's pretty much it. Thank you.